guys so I'm back with a video about a few things I have a few things here that I've received either for review purchased or gifts as from friends um, mostly it's things that I've purchased so I wanted to go ahead and put this up so that I can share some of my favorite things that I've been loving lately first is going to be one of the items that I did receive for review this is from Strivectin this is the new advanced um, hydration hyaluronic acid dual response serum now this thing is pretty cool it has a very nice light um, clean floral fragrance now I've been using this for oh I want to say like two months maybe something like that I think I'm about um, finished with it I can't see what's on the inside of the container because it's like a solid container so it's got the two chambers here and I'll read exactly what it is that it has inside the chambers just so that I don't mess it up but in one of the chambers it has six unique forms of hyaluronic to visibly plump skin with immediate and sustained hydration and in the other chamber it combines NIA 114 and ceramides to lock in moisture and prevent water loss now the best way that I like to use this now I've, I have received a few items from Strivectin and they've never steered me wrong I've always done very well with their products um, how I like to use this one is right after I wash my face or right after I get out of the shower that way I know that the moisture that I have you know from the plumping of washing and having all that hydration all over your face just stays there because if you're not familiar with hyaluronic acid which I've been using products with hyaluronic acid in it for a long time now I want to say two years at least um, when I when it started first coming out I was like I'm all about it for example like um, hyaluronic acid it's like in its own little molecule can hold like a thousand times weight in water in itself if that makes sense I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly but you know it holds moisture in basically um, so and like I said I've been using it for years I'm over 40 I'm gonna be 43 coming up this year um, I think I'm doing pretty good uh, prevention is key I've been taking care of my skin for quite a long time but um, this makes my skin feel super super smooth I use it in the morning every morning and every night before I go to bed and I just like the way that my skin feels and how my skin absorbs other products because of it it just like I don't know it just like holds everything in and I noticed that um, my fine lines that I have um, that I was worried about for a long time um, I think it's it's doing a really good job keeping them uh, at bay you know um, when I smile you can still see the fine lines obviously I'm not a young young chicken or anything like that but I think it does a really good job at keeping my moisturizers you know playing well and and doing nice things for my face so I definitely think that this is a good product I love the way that it makes my skin feel the mixture of the two different hyaluronic acids um, I don't know what that's doing <laughs> but it's doing a good job I always had a concern with um, like the I was getting deep um, wrinkles under my eyes here especially when I smile you still see it but um, it was like in every single picture I would have like this huge I forget which side of my face it was on um, I would get this huge deep inset of a crease under my eye and um, it's much better but I've been using um, I've been using Strivectin products for quite some time uh, I have noticed a big improvement this is just like an addition to the the skincare that I've been using with them it's a really good product I really like this and this is probably going to be something that I'm going to repurchase just because I think it does so so well for my skin I'm going to stay with skin for right now so the next thing I got this at TJ Maxx I got it it was $19.99 it says to compare to $29 I guess on the Glam Glow site this is the cleanser I've used this a lot I just stuck it right back in this container <laughs> it's just so you can see the container and everything but it's the youth cleanse daily exfol exfoliating cleanser um, this is mud to foam I don't know about mud to foam but it's really really good um, this particular cleanser you know it has a nice little pump you can see it's got like the little bit of mud here it's so good I use this in the shower I keep it in the shower all the time and 
like I don't even take a wipe and clean my face anymore. I just go into the shower at the end of the night, wash my face. I might have to wash it twice with this. Um, and it takes off my eye makeup and everything. I don't have raccoon eyes. Normally, I can wash my face with any cleanser, almost any cleanser, and get out and I still have raccoon eyes. And I have to take one of those micellar waters and just clean around my eyes and take the rest of it off. But with this one, no, it doesn't. I mean, it's awesome. It's so good at cleansing my face. I really, really like this. I have to buy another one. I tried to get another version and I wasn't happy with that one. So this is the mud and it's got like some granules in there. It's not a lot. Um, I like, um, like when you're gonna exfoliate, I like it to be very, very grainy where it kind of scrubs my face. Um, this one has a little bit, it's kind of, it's very gentle. I think if you have sensitive skin, you, you'll, you should be okay with this, but this is excellent at removing all the makeup off my face, even eyeliner and mascara. Awesome. Um, this has like, I used this a couple of times. I was not happy with it. Oh look, yeah, you can see it. It's a dual cleanser. Like, um, you can't see the other side, but there's like the oil here and the mud over here. I don't like this stuff. It doesn't do squat for me. Um, I used it like maybe three times or something. I'll, I'll probably just like give it to somebody for them to try out and use because I don't like it. This one was... It was a little bit cheaper. I want to say it was like $17 for this. And I think they com it's like a comparable price, like around $30 that you can buy it for. I would never pay full price for them. I just happened to see it at TJ Maxx and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to try it. Next is a, um, it's like a serum, but like a primer for your face. This is from IT Cosmetics. It's IT number 50 serum, anti-aging collagen veil primer. So um, it's almost like a moisturizer and a primer in one. Um, I like to use this all over my face, especially under my eyes. Um, I do use moisturizer under my eyes as well, but this is like an additional step for my skin. I noticed that when I put my makeup on, my skin looks so good with this. Um, it just says apply over moisturizer or onto clean skin for hydrated, hydrated firmer and younger looking skin. Um, I just like this as an overall primer all over my face. I think it does really, really well. Um, it doesn't keep the oils at bay, mind you, but um, I use something else for that. But this is really, really nice as a primer. Really nice. For the oils, I use Murad Oil Control Mattifier with SPF 15. I only use this in the areas that I need it. Like I only, I use like I kid you not, just like the littlest dab of my on my finger, and I'll apply it around my nose, on my T-zone, on my forehead, on my chin, just in those areas. Because if you use it everywhere else, it's like it's so mattifying. Like you're gonna look all creppy and everything. I make sure I don't apply it under my eyes. That would be a big no-no because you want hydration on your face. So you don't want to pull the hydration out by making your skin all mattified. Um, but I just kind of use it right around my nose, which is where I get the oiliest and right on the my forehead sometimes on my chin But the nose and forehead and this does a fantastic job if you're looking for a mattifying primer I would definitely suggest trying this um, I I had a, I did a what do you call it? like a, a beauty um, trial like I was testing out a product I had no idea what the product was it was like a generic brand uh, or generic um, container and all that stuff I didn't know what it was and at the end of the trial it was like 28 days I want to say it was the trial um, we got a gift card to a place we didn't know where the gift card was gonna be and it happened to be like a it was either I think it was like a hundred or hundred and fifty dollar gift card to Murad so the product was Murad I still don't remember what the products were it was like a whole skin skincare regimen this was a while back um, and with that gift card you can use you can purchase products from the Murad website so this was one of the things that I got it's so so expensive um, but like if I can get like a little sample of this and other kits I do get it and I have gotten a few samples and like I I'm like a hoarder with that because this stuff is so good. Um, but I've had this forever and I just decided, hey, let me take it out and let me try it. And I love it. I think I've had this for like a year, put away in a box and I was just cleaning out my closet and I was like, I should try it. 
So I did and loved it. Um, next, I'm pulling out a scent this time around. This is the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This I love. It's, can you see it? How much I love it. I got this just a couple of months ago. I'm almost done. I mean, I love perfumes. I have a ton of perfumes back there on my um, my dresser. And I, tr I rarely leave the house without a scent. This is floral. It's like elegant, but sweet, not too like you know sometimes you'll you'll know that you'll think that elegant scents are kind of like for older people and so this is not like that this is in my opinion it's very like expensive smelling but sweet and fun and girly and i just love this one i have another one right um it's the miss dior it's the the regular one um that one there is kind of like you know very mature um, it's a the bottle is a little bit shorter and rectangular that one I like for certain times um, but I love this one um, the other one reminds me of the Coco Chanel so they're kind of um, similar but this if you want something that's I mean this is just my favorite scent right now I love this one all right next I got in I think this was in a BoxyCharm box. If not, it was Glossy Box, but I think it was in BoxyCharm. This is from Pure. This is the Soiree Diaries. Uh, I don't know how you want to say this. And it doesn't look like I've gotten into it a lot, but it is so highly, highly pigmented that you don't need a lot to use with this stuff. I mean, this is so good and so pigmented. I'm in love with this. And let me just take, I'm just gonna take these three right here, uh, right here down this row. So I am so in love with this palette. This is a great, I mean, I love it. It doesn't look like I've um, dug into it a lot, but I really have. I mean, you can see, I use this all the time. All the time I use this, all the time. And every time I do use it, um, I'm always getting compliments on it. I haven't touched um, these outer, like the only glittery one that I've used is this one in the center called Twinkle. Um, the other ones, ah, uh, they're not my shades and I haven't even touched Dazzle, but everything else in here is great. They're great for under eye, um, like liner underneath the eye. This is fantastic. Um, and I think it's pretty inexpensive. I wanna say it's in the $30 range for all those shadows. You're getting what, 12 shadows in here? Really good deal. I think I've seen this at Ulta, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's at Ulta. Next is something that I recently purchased. I couldn't help myself. I had to get this one. Um, this is the Too Faced Just Peachy Palette. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to get this one. I don't have, I mean, I have things like this, but I don't have anything like this. I have, you know, I do, that's a lie. That's a lie. But I, I told myself that when I bought it because, you know, I don't have anything. I don't think I have anything. I have something similar. Look at, listen to me, I'm just bribing myself again. I've already done the purchase. I don't need to bribe myself again. All right, anyway, so it has, it's really, really nice. This packaging is so, so nice. It's a nice, nice, heavy packaging. It's gold, it's just made very well. It's magnetized. It has the two little hearts right here. At least I think they're hearts. Yeah, they're, no, I'm sorry, they're peaches. They look like hearts, but they're peaches. So a really nice closure. Um, a huge, huge mirror. There you see, hello, hi, that's my camera. <laughs> and then these are the shades right here. Fantastic shades. I really don't have any shades like this. These, this is, I've used this quite a bit also. It kind of doesn't look like I've used it a lot, but I have, I have used it a lot. A little tiny bit, like you, all you have to do is just dab your brush in there and you get a ton of color. I love this one too. I use this one all the time. And uh, I think this is, so my girlfriend at work told me, Annette, come on, you don't need that. You have so many shadows, you don't need that. And I'm like, but I really don't have colors that are just like this. And she's like, ah, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna show you another palette that I bought. And she was like, Annette, you don't need that. And I was like, oh, but I really wanna get it. I heard some really good reviews, so whatever. Um, I just, I'm like addicted to palettes. I love palettes and, and this was just so pretty. 
but this is such a heavy duty one. This is something that I would definitely would take with me going away, going out of town. Great, 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 great. I didn't think this video was gonna be so long. I'm so sorry, but it is. I have a lot to say about the things that I love. All right, this is the Huda, this is not the new one. This is the rose gold edition. My friend at work got this for me. I was so shocked when she got this for me. We're like both beauty lovers and like I'm giving her stuff all the time and she's giving me stuff all the time. And I was just like, what? She's, I talked to her and I was like, you know, I really want to get a palette that has like more pinks in it. And then she showed up with this palette for me and I was like, oh my God, I love you so much even more. So this is the Huda Rose Gold, right? Is that what I said, Rose Gold? Yeah, Rose Gold Edition. You've seen it probably all over the place, but here are the shades and they are phenomenal. Um, I could use just like only half this palette because um, the ones that I only use, to be honest with you, I use Bossy, actually from here all the way across here, down here. Actually these bottom two rows, minus this pink shade just from here over and then just this one um glittery shade angelic the rest of the gl glittery shades i don't really care for i don't like the formula of them i don't like the texture they're kind of feel like they're, they're like a waxy texture which is freaking weird um the only one up here was the angelic which is more of a powder but um i love this She's like, I know which color that you're gonna love. It's gonna be Bossy and Coco. And sure enough, I do. I love Bossy. Bossy's like this dark burgundy, brick red kind of color. And it's great for deepening up the crease. This is a fantastic palette. And I'm so thankful that she got this for me. Um, yeah, great palette. Um, I don't plan on getting the new one just because I think she has the new one and she loves it. But, okay, the last one in here, this is the Tarte, uh, what is this one? It's one of the holiday palettes. I know I've seen people say, oh, you don't really need, <gasps> I have one that's broken, I see it. A little tiny chunk of something is down here at the bottom. When you open it, it smells so good, it smells like vanilla ice cream to me. And that's my opinion. Now, um, I know that people have said, oh, if you have other Tarte, palettes if you have other palettes that are like this you're not going to need this i use this one since i've gotten it almost every single day this is such a great palette um the shades in here are great for everyday wear i love them the blush and the bronze the blushes the bronzers i don't like the shimmery bronzer too much i like the matte bronzer um it works out very well for me the highlighter sucks it's horrible 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 the blushes are good. Um, I like Tarte blushes in general, um, but these shades are very close to each other. There's not much of a difference between the two. I wish there was like a bigger um, change or in depth between the two of them. That would have been nice um, because yeah, they are, they, although they don't look very similar, they, they kind of apply very similarly on the cheeks. Um, you can see that I've this palette has gotten much love from me like the little tart symbols on there they're kind of all missing from the ones that i really really love and i do like this additional side here with it has like a little mirror here like i've never used that mirror but it's you know if you're in a pinch i think that's it's fine i don't know how you would use it because you would have to be like this to use it it's kind of stupid um but if you were in a pinch i guess it's okay the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, phenomenal. This, um, what is this one called? The Sexy Sex Kitten Liner. Um, I've used it a couple of times. The little smudger, it's a pencil liner and it, with a smudger, and it, it does well. Um, I'm just not a pencil liner lover, but it does very nice for the lower lash line for myself. And then this, um, um, I forgot what it is. It says the Tardiest Lip paint this is a matte formula this is a nice color i like it um some people don't like it because it's very very drying but i personally i do like it and i think the color is fine um and i like that you know it says hidden treasures i think that's what the name of this this kit is the hidden treasures one um but this will be great to take with you you could put a few brushes in here and i think it would do um nice it kind of if you don't snap it it doesn't close all the way but 
there you snap it um, I haven't found that it's a big big problem having the shadows like this without a cover I hate the covers um, I don't see a problem with these things combining with the shadows and getting it all dirty or vice versa I think it's fine um, and it's it's big it's bulky and it's noisy <laughs> sorry the lighting I can't you know can't help the lighting camera is like can't help it it just does what it wants so I don't use the darker shades that are at the bottom very often um, like they have some dark blues and greens and grays and silvers I like the upper portion which is more warmer tones and the bottom ones more cooler tones the bottom actually the bottom left corner right there is more cool tone and I, I don't normally use those but I use this thing almost every single day in combination with other palettes possibly or whatever but that one's really great so all those eyeshadow palettes I just I can't get enough of those most recently oh my god it's recording still I've been just sitting here doing absolutely nothing all right anyway um those are the things that I've been recently loving and yeah that's about it thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you in another video bye